We're talking conference realignment on Midwest Sportsnet today, and it is a privilege to be joined by Curtis Jans, the athletic director at Arkansas Fort Smith. Big announcement on Monday as the Lions are going to be heading toward the MIAA in 24. Congratulations for that announcement right off the bat. Let's start right there. Congratulations to Arkansas Fort Smith. Uh, thanks, Joey. It's, um, you know, it's been a, uh, um, a good process kind of a long process that we've gone through to, uh, to make this change. Uh, but, uh, it's just, it's so good for our student athletes, uh, student athlete experience will get much better. We'll have less time on buses. They'll have more time in class. Um, I think that gives us a great opportunity to develop some geographical rivalries, you know, with Northeastern Oklahoma, Roger state, UCO, Pitt state, Missouri, Southern, all within, easy driving distance uh, of us and all, you know, uh, traditional um, great athletic departments. And uh, so I think it's a, it's a, it's a great move all around. It'll save us some, save us some money and travel. Um, so it's, uh, it's going from one great division two conference to another great division two conference. I completely understand that uh, the MIAA expanding its footprint into Northwest Arkansas with schools in Missouri, Kansas, Oklahoma, Nebraska as well. We talk about conference realignment. Often you, you get the, the news on a national scale. It's very much discussed about on the division one level, but could you take us through a little bit of the process and what goes into uh, moving from one conference to the next? Yeah. So this is actually the, third Division II conference that I've been a part of um, started off in the loans or in, I'm sorry, in the Heartland Conference, uh, both at Oklahoma Christian and here at uh, Arkansas Fort Smith. And then the, the Heartland kind of merged with the Lone Star. And, uh, and so that was, you know, there, there wasn't a whole lot of, uh, conversations about that. That was just kind of uh, uh, two groups coming together. Uh, this one has been a, a lot different. We actually started some talks four years ago. Um, in fact, it's kind of a interesting story. There was one semester that I uh, coached our men's basketball team uh, because of some personnel issues. And we were in Laredo playing Texas International on a Thursday night. We actually won that game and drove back to San Antonio to play St. Mary's on Saturday. Friday morning, I got up and flew to the NCAA convention in Orlando, had our had the first meeting with the commissioner of the MIAA on Friday afternoon, then flew back to San Antonio, coached the game Saturday, and then rode the bus back to Fort Smith. So that was the uh, that's not a very glamorous uh, way to uh, to to start start this off, but uh, uh, that was the first contact we really had with the MIAA. And then we had uh, we continued some conversations going on, you know. And then we went into COVID for for two years. That kind of uh, slowed, stopped uh, the conversation. And then uh, we came out and I uh, we had some conversations again at the convention in San Antonio this year. Um, and then it, it happened really quickly after that. Uh, commissioner came here to Fort Smith, uh, talked to our chancellor, Teresa Riley and I, um, kind of viewed our facilities here and uh, made a recommendation to the presidents of the MIAA and they issued us an invitation. And then Monday, the uh, Arkansas system, the University of Arkansas system board of trustees uh, approved the, us accepting the invitation and it was announced Monday afternoon. We're speaking with Curtis Jans, Director of Athletics at Arkansas Fort Smith, and the Lions will be the 15th program 
of the MIAA, one of the premier leagues in Division II here on Midwest Sportsnet. By the way, we enjoy talking about small college sports and more throughout the Midwest and beyond. A longtime basketball coach as well, not just that semester. You've been coaching basketball for a number of years, so I know you're no stranger to that. But the MIAA now extending its footprint into the northwest Arkansas area. Beautiful area, growing in so many ways. Talk about what uh, the, uh, the the NWA brings to the table. Yeah, so the, they are extending their footprint into Arkansas. But as I say, I can see Oklahoma from my window because <laughs> we are right on the border. Um, but it, it, it's a uh, it's a great area. Uh, obviously the Bentonville, Rogers, Fayetteville area that a lot of them IAA schools would drive through to get to Fort Smith is one of the fastest growing uh, areas in the country. Uh, tremendous uh, outdoor recreation uh, with, uh, you know, Beaver Lake and all the biking trails that are around uh, the Bentonville area. And then uh, when you get here to Fort Smith, you know, we have just they just announced that there is a new uh, Air Force training um, program that's going in here in Fort Smith and that will bring about 400 new families <clears throat> into uh, into our city. And they're estimating over a billion dollars a year of revenue, new revenue that coming into uh, into our city. And so. Uh, Fort Smith is really, uh, it's really changing. It's really vibrant right now. A lot of, a uh, lot of growth, and uh, it's really exciting time to be, uh, to be in Fort Smith. And so, uh, our university is projecting to be up in enrollment next year, which is a big deal for, a, you know, a smaller regional public. Um, and so, you know, things are really. Uh, on the uptick in, in our area. And yeah, uh, it's one of the most, I think, beautiful uh, parts of the country. You drive I-49 from Fayetteville to Fort Smith, and it's uh, it's truly one of the uh, prettiest drives that uh, that you can have anywhere. You're right. It's, it's an absolutely gorgeous drive there. Uh, you know, as a uh, we're just days from finishing up the 22-23 athletic year. The 23-24 athletic year is just about to get started. So much on the way there. MIAA in 24-25. Talk about the Lions then and, and uh, the programs there and for 23-24 and what this next year has to offer. Yeah, we. Um, it's, it's easy to get really excited about something that's a year away, but we do still have uh, one year left in the Lone Star. And... Uh, let me say one thing about the Lone Star Conference. It is a, a fantastic conference. Great people um, in the conference. Great leadership in the conference. Um, by no by no means were we um, unhappy in in the Lone Star Conference. It. Uh, but as I as I said yesterday in our in our uh, AD meeting, it's anybody with a map can tell why this is a good move for us, and. Uh, and, and so one more year competing in the Lone Star. Um, I really believe that our teams are trending in the right direction. Uh, we, we've had a little bit of a struggle when we uh, transitioned from the Heartland Conference to the, to the Lone Star, but we have learned from, from those struggles and we are trending in the right way. Um, we have a great coaching staff, um, obviously, we, when we talk about our coaches, I always start with Jane Sargent, our volleyball coach, who's been to a Final Four and to two Elite Eights and uh, all-time winning as volleyball coach uh, in the state of Arkansas. And uh, I believe that she, her team this year will definitely uh, fight for a, uh, a spot in the regional. Uh, both, both basketball programs are uh, – training in the right way. We have a new men's coach, Zane Gibson. It's a young coach that is uh, full of energy and relates extremely well to our student athletes. Uh, Ryan McAdams, our women's coach, is uh, 
one of the most compassionate uh, leaders that I've been around, and he's uh, got uh, got our our women's team going in the right direction. Uh, Todd Holland, our baseball coach, has done a, a great job here. Uh, last year was not his best year, but uh, again, I think he learned a lot from it and uh, going uh, going to get better. Uh, and he got to a regional finals. I, well, I don't know what it was, three years ago, four years ago. And so our baseball program has always been good. And so our women's golf team made a regional a year ago. And so we have a lot of, uh, we're, I really believe we're on the cusp of a, a lot of really special things. We're doing a lot of work this summer on uh, developing team culture uh, within with every head coach and that's gone great so far this summer. And so I, I really think that we're gonna see some really special things coming from our teams uh, quickly, right away. Well, success to you all then in 23, 24, again, just uh, days away from, from the new athletic season. And then of course the Arkansas Fort Smith Lions heading to the MIAA in 24, 25. Thank you so much, Curtis Jans, Athletic Director at Arkansas Fort Smith for taking time with us today here on the summit and and we're enjoying and excited for you about the news and we'll be following you along all right thanks joey always a pleasure